a turning point in the fight against COVID-19. On December 8, 2020, Margaret Keenan became the first person in the world to receive a vaccine outside of clinical trials. Oh, it was wonderful. I mean, I, I can't believe it now, what happened at the time, because I was quite ill. And, um, and, and, and you know, with the, with the help I got here, the National Health Service, it really looked after me. And um, I'm so happy, and I, I'm so happy I got the job. And um, it's been a wonderful year, really. Wonderful. But one year later, the world is still in the grips of the pandemic. Cases of the Omicron variant double every two days in the UK. And the British government announced new measures to slow down the spread. First, we will reintroduce the guidance to work from home guidance to work from home. Second, from this Friday, we will further extend the legal requirement to wear a face mask to most, to most public indoor venues, including theatres and cinemas. Third, we'll also make the NHS COVID pass mandatory for entry into nightclubs and venues where large crowds gather, including unseated indoor venues with more than 500 people. Countries in the rest of Europe and beyond are also facing new waves of infection. The World Health Organization says Omicron has now been reported in 57 countries in every region of the world. WHO's Tedros says all governments should assess national COVID-19 plans and accelerate vaccination. We call on all countries to increase surveillance, testing and sequencing. Our existing diagnostics work both PCR and antigen-based rapid tests. Emerging data from South Africa suggest increased risk of reinfection with Omicron. In Germany, 527 people died of coronavirus on Wednesday, the highest number recorded since February. France has also started totaling more than 50,000 daily cases, prompting the Philippines to ban all travelers coming from France. In South Korea, the government says hospitals are under immense pressure, with daily cases topping 7,000 for the first time. Koreans were already required to show a vaccine pass to enter high-risk venues, such as gyms and bars. But now that's been expanded to restaurants and cafes. BioNTech and Pfizer say getting a third dose is effective against the new variant. They're also working on a formula specifically for Omicron by March 2022. But one year after the very first vaccine was delivered, it's unclear if there is any miracle drug that can stop the pandemic anytime soon. Mehmet Solmas, TRT World.